I thought it would be super fun to reach back into the past, back to 2011 and subsequent years, and share some of my old blog posts with you, which were actually the launching pad to this podcast. They're all posted in a section called Thoughts by Me on my website. I'll put a link in the description. And there's actually some fun recipes on there that I had completely forgotten about that I will be revisiting. And there's some interesting challenges, like life challenges that I challenged myself to, that I blogged about. Kind of fun. So let's take a blast to the past. Thoughts about a legacy, February 25th, 2014. Legacy. Now, plural, legacies. A gift of property, especially personal property, as money, by will, a bequest. Anything handed down from the past, as from an ancestor or predecessor, the legacy of ancient Rome, courtesy of dictionary.com. All families have legacies. Sometimes we refer to them as generational curses as well. It's unavoidable. We're human. Some families pass down drinking and drug addiction. Some pass down worry. For some, it's abuse. Others, anger and violence. There are families that pass on learned behavior and those that pass on genetic anomalies. I know families who have handed down depression and also some that nurtured serious gambling problems. Cancers have passed through families as well as diabetes. And of course, we can't forget the legacy of infidelity. The list could definitely go on and on. The good news is not all legacies have to be negative. We can also leave a legacy of love, grace, forgiveness, compassion, hope, encouragement, truth, understanding, forbearance, and faithfulness. That's the legacy I want to leave for my descendants. It's a choice I'm making. It's not an easy choice by any means. It's an uphill battle that I will fail at over and over. My flesh would prefer to quickly tell you off if you make me mad at whatever expense. My fleshly side would rather yell at my husband and blame him for my decision to get into a car and drive to the other side of the country from him. And while we're on the subject, I'm really partial to taking everything personally, whether it has anything to do with me or not. What is that about anyway? My fleshiness opts to be, well, just plain selfish. But yes, sometimes butts can be good. Thank the Almighty that I don't have to be a slave to my sinful nature. When I feel myself getting worked up, all I have to do is call out to God and he will change my attitude. If I'm sinking in sadness because my earthly dad was taken before I was even halfway into life, no one ever told me that there's a physical pain that you feel. And all I want to do is scream, yell, and demand him back. God is right there with me the moment I ask, and I can lay all that heaviness at his feet. If I'm afraid while my child is a wall for four days, which better not happen again, I can hand my son to God and let him be in charge because he's much better at communicating with the kiddo than I am. Hmm, it makes me think of a song from this group called Clear. I love to listen to them. I'm not sure what the name of the song is, but it goes like this. I wanted to live like you. I wanted to follow, follow like the beggars walking at your heels on the road. But still I slip between all the cracks the world can form without your watching there's a pit you fall below. And I fell below but you. You offered out your hand to me and I grabbed a hold to see. 
The darkness of the hole that I'd found was nothing like your light and I'm free. When I close my eyes I fall, life's so fragile, not your love at all. Like the water in the sea, your love's inside my soul, now I'm free. The rays were beating down when suddenly the storm clouds covered up the sky and rang the fisherman's alarm. But he was silent sleeping, tucked in a corner. When they woke him up, he saw their fear and the wind and waves went calm, like you made me calm when you offered out your hand to me. The traits I want to be known for are not natural to me, not in the slightest. When I leave this earth, I want people to think of God's light shining through me whenever they talk about me. I want to bless people, not be a thorn in their side or an irritating nag. Someone gave me the best compliment I've ever had last August when I left Virginia. She thanked me for being real and not being judgmental of her. You see, that's one of my family's legacies being judgmental of others for their actions. For years, I walked around with a tree sticking out of my eye. See my previous entry, Thoughts from an Italian Restaurant, pointing out other people's mistakes and insufficiencies, proudly announcing, I would never. You fill in the blank. Who gave me the right to sit on my high horse? looking down my nose at other sojourners here on this earth? Am I more important than my husband? Neighbor? Sister? Grocery cashier? Nail salon tech? The guy next to me at the stoplight? First Chronicles 29.15 says this, For we are strangers before thee, and sojourners, as were all our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. We aren't here by accident, not a one of us. Even some scientists are rethinking their theories, because they see the flaws in their thinking. If there was no evidence of God's existence except butterflies and sunsets, that might be proof enough for me. I can choose to acknowledge and have a relationship with my Creator, or I can take no responsibility for my actions and continue to blame everyone else for my choices. It's up to me. This is the training ground for eternity. Why else would we have such differing talents and abilities? It all works together perfectly if you see it through God's eyes. How very exciting it is to think about. I have no doubt that my dad and I will be playing the guitar and singing together for eternity. Music is also one of my family's legacies. We are being shaped and molded for our place in the kingdom, and we are but a blink of an eye, a mere moment in the span of time. I know what legacy I want to leave. The choice is yours as well. Thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there for me. And click bell if you want notifications. And hit that like button too. And I will see you next time. Maranatha! And now that he's washed me clean, I want to follow where he to love we were made to give the reason why we're here the reason why he gave us life we were made to show the love of christ we know this is why we're here this is why he gave us life so let his love shine through in everything we do it's all for love